What's up? Oh my gosh, I feel like it's been forever since I've seen you guys. I feel like it's been like five months or something. It has been. Well, due to situations and circumstances, uh, progress on the van has been pretty much non-existent. I've had a lot of little jobs here and there, and I've been using it as a, uh, a cargo van, hauling around materials and tools and things. And I just experienced my first check engine light. And what does that mean, you might ask? Well, for me, it meant a heart-sinking feeling that I was hoping not to experience in the van for a very long time. But for you, it's an informational video. And the code I pulled, I have a tiny little code reader. And what the, uh, the code said was, it might be the DPF filter, the, the diesel particulate filter, which just takes diesel particles and uh, the soot that comes from burning diesel and it just collects all the uh, the little particles that are in the diesel so I'm gonna clean that out but the other code was the the turbo was not getting enough airflow so I'm hoping that possibly they're one and the same because the code reader I have is not a very fancy tells you exactly what the situation is code reader it's like a uh, very vague uh, code reader. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some diesel particulate filter cleaner, liquid molly. So I'll spray some of that into the particulate filter and then I've got some particulate filter purge which will then be sprayed after the cleaner and I'll let that sit for a little bit and then close up the filter. I'll let that, uh, I'll turn over the, the engine, rev it at 2000 RPM for a little bit just to heat up the muffler and just make sure all that, that soot and all that uh, cleaner is out of there. And hopefully that'll solve my issue. So under the van we go. All right, so we'll follow your, your, your exhaust and you will find over here, this cylinder is your particulate filter. Let's see if I can get my, yeah, that's your particulate filter. And right here, I was already messing with it, that is your sensor. your sensor and that was on there really tight I used a 17 millimeter little uh, crescent wrench and I had to use some force I was there's not a lot of room for maneuverability usually I put my foot on it and push it but I was able to kind of wedge my hand in there and kind of create some sort of leverage but I got that off and that hole where I just took that sensor out can't see it with the camera facing this way but I'm gonna spray my particulate filter the entire bottle right into that hole and to get it in there I got me a little one gallon pss, pss, little weed sprayer I don't think I'm gonna be able to film this process once I'm under the van. So I'm just gonna fill this jug with my Liquid Molly particulate filter cleaner. I'm gonna stick this little nib down into that hole that I showed you, and I'm just gonna spray the entire bottle. I'm gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna spray the purge, and I'm gonna let that sit for, I'll have to read the jug, I forgot what it said. But once I'm done with that, I'll let you know. Oops.
weird position to hold your hand for like five minutes. So I'm gonna let that sit, spread the entire bottle. I'm gonna let it sit for 15 minutes. Well, while I wait on that to set up, I'll just explain to you what happened. So I was driving down to Florida and then all of a sudden the check engine light came on. I wasn't doing anything crazy, just going down the interstate. Check engine light come on and I was like, oh great. And then it went into limp mode. And I had no idea what that was because I'm brand new to, I don't know if all diesels do that, or if it's just the Sprinter van, it's a safety precaution where it governs your top speed just so, for, I guess for safety precautions. But I was doing like, I was flooring it, only going 60. And I was, I was like, oh great, what's going on? What, why is it doing that? But found out with a quick internet search that it's, uh, it's a safety precaution so you don't damage your engine even further. And there was really nothing I could do about it. So I just uh, parked it when, once we got to Florida and I let it sit and I thought maybe if I just let it sit, the check engine light will go off because I didn't have my code reader and I had no idea what the issue was. So I, so it, I would just let it sit for however long we were there, probably about a week or so. I thought maybe that would restart the computer in case there was just something something loose. I did look inside the engine and there was like a little hose that seemed like it was coming off. So I put it back on. I was like, oh, maybe that's the issue. But turns out it wasn't. So when, once I got home, do, coming back from Florida, I was in limp mode the entire way. It probably took me three more hours than it, than it uh, usually does. I discovered the issue was particulate filter, DPF was the only thing that the code said. It didn't say anything else, it just said DPF, diesel particulate filter. So cleaning it out and hopefully that solves the issue. Here is the next step, diesel particulate filter purge. This is a littler, littler, littler bottle, a littler liter. And same process. Dump it in there, pump it up, spray it in. And there's no instructions. Oh wait, yeah, there is. Wait, hold on. Yeah, no, there's no instructions. It just says after uh, you use the other stuff, use this stuff to clean it out. So, but it does say drive around for about 20 minutes after this to reset the sensor to regenerate, initiate the regeneration process. So after this, we'll go for a little joy ride. Okay, after that's all been sprayed in there, we're gonna put that sensor back on. And it's dead. And if you'd like to know how to jumpstart a diesel van, go check out my other video. Because I've already done that. Got her started. Now we're going to take her for a little ride. See if we can get those engine lights to clear. We're getting a lot of smoke back there. It's probably that burning off of all that fluid in there. It's pretty good. I don't ever remember seeing that much smoke created behind it. So hopefully it's just clearing it out, getting it all out of there. It's clean smoke, it's not like black soot smoke. Well, just got back and the check engine light's still on. I was running out of diesel, so I couldn't go any further. And my battery's still dead, so I couldn't go to the gas station and get some diesel because I would just die at the pump. So I decided to come back and just check the codes again just to make sure they were all saying the same thing. And I'll, I'll show you what I did. And just in case you're wondering where the code reader is, it's up here in this little flap. This is what mine looks like fixed. It just comes with like a little app that connects to your phone. Just check the codes they're all still there i uh, a couple more came on too because of the dead battery situation but i don't think i drove it long enough due to the diesel situation so i'm going to have to probably 
end the video here because that is how you clear out your particulate filter. I'm just, I just hate to end the video on a not cleared engine light.